Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is plastic bag stamped flowers on a canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. So in our envelopes this month, you have three plastic bags, uh, one larger one that is the gallon size Good Sense food storage bags from Dollar Tree. Um, you have two of the fold over sandwich bag size. They're um, also from Dollar Tree. We have three small uh, craft sticks in there to help us get the paint out of our paint pots and then two paper plates to use as our palettes. Our canvas this month is a 10 by 10 square. It is wrapped in plastic, um, so you'll have to open that plastic and take that off to get us ready to paint on it. So there's our open canvas for our paints this month. Um, we have a nice, I tried to keep it kind of floral. Uh, we've got white paint. Um, it's actually sergeant paint. It's not this Americana. This is just the bottle we keep refilling. You've got the Vivid Pink from Anita's. This is one of those colors we are working our way through. And then our Sargent Acrylics, you have a Fuchsia, and then you have the Spectral Red. And these are a little bit um, thinner, not quite as thick of the acrylic. Um, and then a little bit of sparkle. You know I love to add a little bit of sparkle. Um, our Master's Touch Liquid Acrylic Gold. Um, these are a little bit thicker. And then because it's flowers, in case you want to ultimately add some greenery to your uh, project, you have the Grass Green Master Touch Liquid Acrylic. So in addition to what we have in our um, kits, you may want to grab some paper towels to help keep your area clean and uh, maybe wipe off your bags in between colors. Or if you've got extra bags, you can always use those. I also, if you're planning to do the greenery at the end, you can use your hand, fingers, if you don't mind getting painted up. If you've got a uh, glove around, you could use that as well. Or if you've done any of our canvas projects before, you may have some extra paint brushes laying around. So you could use those. These three are all ones we've provided with kits in the past. Um, and then I did also pull just a size 10 paintbrush out of our uh, box. Additionally, the one other thing I have is a scrap paper. Um, you'll see in a moment where I'm going to pull that in. So first and foremost, I'm going to make a choice. You have a couple of options for how you're going to create your stamped flowers. So on our palette here, we may take some of our color using my craft stick. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the dark pink in the middle of that one. And then let's use a little bit of the light pink around. So I'm just using the other side of my little guy here. And so I'm just going to try and bring that all the way around the dot of my darker pink. Maybe a little bit more on this side right here. Not too much. All right, and I can scrape these off, set it aside. I may start with so that's mixing colors you can also do stamp one color at a time so on this other one i'm just going to take some of the red by itself there and i think i'm going to do some of the gold by itself there other side of this guy and i'm already getting a little bit of paint on my fingers to be expected that's half the fun of these projects so then with my paints out on my, my paper plate there, um, I've got my two bag options. So with our smaller sandwich bag, uh, it does have a fold kind of at the bottom as well. So when we put air into our little bag, I'm just going to open it up some, kind of make that classic little piece there, give it some air and close and then twist. I've got that kind of angle to the edge, and that is going to create a specific print. So let's do that with just our red. 
I'm going to pull that in there. Let's get some on the other side. So I've got kind of paint all around the top, not quite as much over there. And then I'm going to use my paper to kind of remove some of it. See, that is just a solid paint. This way I'm starting to get a little less. So then I can come to my canvas and drop down just one. And I'm getting those white spaces in between that kind of hints at the, the petal. And I could do a fair number with the bag as it is. So then for our larger bag, figure out which side is open, I can create uh, bigger flowers. So let's give us some air. I'm going to take two breaths. All right, twist that up. And we see here that my point very much now is not uh, folded in. So for this one, I'm going to come into my mixed colors. And I'm going to come right down in the middle and then just push myself all the way there. And now I've got paint kind of all the way around. I can do the same thing where I blot some off on my paper, although that actually had kind of some of that cool white, um, white space. So as I push down, I'm going to push down pretty far on this one. So there I'm really getting that that good spacing. And that is mixing of the colors. And then I can just take the other side of my bag. Let's get some of this gold. Really get it all the way around. There we go. So I could let this layer dry some. So mine aren't too hefty. If I go ahead and stamp now, which I'm going to do, um, I will get a little bit more blending. If I had left these to dry, I could come back over and I wouldn't get quite as much of that blending. So I'm just going to add that gold to all of my reds and even keep going on to those pinks that I had. And really that probably needed a little bit more paint. And now I'm getting that mix of colors really going. And so I'm going to stamp. I probably would have stamped more for a final. So this is my example here. All of these are done with that technique of mixed paints rather than one color at a time layered on top. Um, but I did come back and add. So let's set our bag aside. And I would also have likely given this a little while to kind of dry down so that as I come in with maybe some of the other colors, like here, I'm just going to grab some of this dark pink and just kind of bring some lines. And with this, I can really start to develop those flower shapes. Let's get that red. Just going to bring some curved lines around there and really kind of turn that more into that flower shape. Same over here. And I can do different weighted lines. So I really was lighter there. This one I'm going to come with a little bit darker lines. I just want that little dollop of red in the middle to really kind of bring that one out. And then, as I mentioned, if you are so inclined, you can come back later and do greenery as well. Again, with this stage, I would recommend waiting until your um, painted layers are kind of dry, but you can keep going. So just giving some of that greenery. There, actually, because I'm just going, got a little bit of the red into that. Just making leaves. And this is just kind of that two half circle. One and then two. And then another one this way. One and then two. And then as I go, I can continue to add greenery as I might want. With this, you see I really had kind of a lot in certain spots. And I really love the look of that, that little raised bit once it gets dried out. It just adds such cool texture to your um, work. So since I've got this light pink out here, I 
can really come in and you'll see now that this is completely dry, I'm just kind of bringing in some more of those colors. And the little extra white space is really fun too. I can follow the lines as it went. I feel like that guy just needs a very nice little pink center. Oh, that one has the gold center. And really just explore. Uh, for our project, we did just air in the bags. Um, I did, did give water a try. It was a little bit clunkier, and I felt like that was some of these where I got a lot of paint coverage. The air kind of let the plastic crinkle a little bit and gave me some of those more open space, um, kind of indicating the flower rather than really laying out each area. Uh, you could try rice or beads or something that would give like that fun texture. And if you don't want to start on your canvas, um, you can always start on a piece of paper or even the back of your envelope, something like that, to give some of these techniques a try before you really go at your canvas. As always, we hope you enjoyed this project and give us a shout out when you complete yours. Show us. We always love to see them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next month.